Alright, this is Grade 2, Module 4, Lesson 3, where we're going to be continuing the idea of adding and subtracting with multiples of 10, uh, but then also we're going to have some 1s that we're going, to, we're going to be adding in there as well. And largely we're going to be focusing on the arrow method as their her technique for scaffolding in um, students to, to develop that n number sense and the mental math, which is so, so important. Um, although we will be doing a little bit of number bond as well. So we're going to specifically focus on the arrow method right now. And keeping in mind, this is not the, the destination. This is merely one step in our journey towards the standard algorithm. So we've got 56 plus 40. And using the arrow method, and, you know, parents, if the parents are looking at this, or teachers, if you're looking at this and you're like, what the heck is the arrow way? Don't panic. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, and um, it's to develop mental math ability. So we're going to do 56 plus, and we're going to add by 10. And typically we add by 10s and 1s here. And although there's no rule book that says you couldn't do something else, but I'm going to stick to adding multiples of 10. And, um, and now we get, uh, so we had, sorry, 56 plus 10 is 66. We're going to add another 10. And that gives us 76. We're going to add another 10. And that gives us 86. And then we're going to add one last 10. And that gives us 96. So we can see that 56 plus 10 I mean, plus 40 is equal to 96. All right. Uh, continuing that theme, let's do 56 plus 41. And again, we're going to still use the arrow method, although there are other ways to do it. But let's start with 56. And we're going to add by 10. Add by 10, that gives us 66. Add another 10, that gives us 76. We're going to add another 10. That gives us 86. We're going to add another 10. That gives us 96. And so, so far we've added 40. Now we have to add just one more. So now we're going to add by 1, and that gives us 97. And so our answer is 97. And students should see that, well, yeah, we added one additional 1 from 40 to 41. So our answer should be one larger. That makes sense. And ideally, students are going to think, hey, wait, I see a pattern. Automatically, we know if we're going to add 39, that's going to be one less than adding 40. So our answer here is going to be one less than our answer here. So ideally, we know we should end up with 95. And so we can verify that by doing some subtracting this time. So let's start off with adding by 10, then we're going to add another 10, then we're going to add another 10, then we're going to add another 10. So there's our 40, right? So 56 plus 10 is 66, plus 10 is 76, plus 10 is 86, plus 10 is 96. But we didn't, we didn't want to add 40, we really wanted to add 39. So what do we need to do? Now we're going to subtract by 1, and that way we'll get down to adding only 39 instead of adding 40. So 96 minus 1 gives us 95, and that was exactly the answer we were expecting anyway. So that is some concentrated practice using the arrow method. Now here, students are going to be given a choice. Uh, of using either the arrow method, number bonds, or mental math. And this is one of those beautiful ways to differentiate your instruction. Let students choose how they want to do it. And then have this rich, wonderful conversation as a whole class on all the different ways that students use to solve this problem. Because there's, oh, probably six or seven different ways that students could have used their number sense to solve this problem. So Marcy had $84 in the bank. She took 39 out of her bank account. How much does she have in her account now? So we're going to begin with the idea of, okay, these are all going to be variations on the theme of 84 minus 39. 
So the arrow method would look like, so we're going to do 84 minus 10 gives us 74. Take away 10 gives us 64. Take away 10 gives us 54. Take away 10 gives us 44. But that is taking away 40. And we only need to take away 39. So we took away too much. So since we took away too much, that means we need to add one more because we took away too much. We're only supposed to take away 39. So that gives us uh, 45 as our answer. So 84 minus 39 is equal to 45. Now that's the arrow method. Uh, we could have used the number bonds method. So let's see. What would that have looked like? Well, 84 minus 39. Now what we could have done is said this is minus, let's see, we could have taken away 40 but then added 1. So we could say 84 minus 40 is 44 but then add in 1 and that gives us 45. That's another way a student might have done it. Uh, another way they could have done it is they could have said, let's see, this is a little bit more advanced than I think most second graders might do, but I'm going to share this just so that you teachers can be, I don't know, prepared in case somebody shares this method. Let's see, they maybe, maybe they did, okay, so 84 minus 39, maybe they broke up 84 to, oh, let's say uh, 70 and 14, and this would be 30 and 9. So they could have said, well, 70 minus 30 is 40, 15 minus 9 is 5, and 40 plus 5 is equal to 45. So there's another way we could have done it. Lots of different ways to solve this problem. I'm thinking largely most of your students would use some sort of variation in the arrow, arrow me, uh, method, or perhaps this number bond. It's pretty unlikely, but I wanted to share it anyway, that anybody would solve it using this technique. And that is second grade module four, lesson three.